today in the program we tell us we talk to the national publicity sector for the all people's congress apc party when i see the at tunis they can't talk about waiting and waiting the apc party don't do ahead of the june 24th general elections well if people care where but 36 days from now salon people they go back to the polls after five years for elect different representative them outside the electoral commission for salon go hold four different elections them inside one day for give the electorate them the opportunity for vote for um councillor district chairman member of parliament and self the president will go rule the country again for the next five years this being term 13 political party them being go nominate then different candidates them where they team up for be president and vice president to the electoral commission of salon when a part of the elections process and after that different political party them they prepare now for go into the campaigns and according to the ECSL calendar officially the campaign then supposed for begin May 22nd. Also, I them party are they come back to salon people them tell them about them programs and agenda them waiting and plan for do for the country in terms of develop, development if they vote for them for be president. Well, the All People's Congress, the one party 13 political party, where they prepare now for go into the elections. And today they can ask different question them to the national publicity sector in terms of preparation, waiting at them plans for salon people and how they shall see them go win the June 24th general elections. To start with um, CDI Tunis, from that brief background, they don't give listener them. For the All People's Congress, APC party, as we speak now, who saw on a day in terms of preparedness ahead of the June 24th election, as we just get about 36 days to the elections? Uh, as Thank you very much, Khadija, again. And I'm glad you for there for update the populace on the activities as a political party we poised for take governance on the 24th of June, 2023. We say we did now that we very much prepared, we ready, and uh, we don't put all of the structures them in place as far as they relate to campaigning, as far as they relate to candidates then we for represent the party at ward levels as councillors. Then one we get for represent the party as district council chairpersons. Then one we get for represent the party as mayors. And the one we get for represent the party as members of parliament, as well as uh, we presidential ticket, we now we presidential candidates, and in running mates, they all long go through nominations, and uh, we ready and prepare for take on the elections, and for bring victory to the people of this country, June 24, 2023, and. With that, several activities do to take place both locally and internationally. If I can start with a presidential candidate, for example, a just return from a very successful trip overseas. We see a bidon do one at the United States, and then it do now one at the United Kingdom. Of course, we say a meet with Australians in the UK. Uh, they want to own businesses as well as generally for shared and vision with them, but for also listening to them as to how they really want to see the country going forward. And their engagements, and they've been very fruitful and they've been very informative and insightful for we as a political party because they also they inform we, you know, as to really within Australians, their mindset and their aspirations as, as far as USA they want the development of Salon for day. But we also be need for speak with uh, you know the international community at inside and day. And so we presidential candidate get several meetings also with people we you know very close to you know way important like the common wealth secretariat for example meet with them of course, you go to the Chatham House, who say go deliver a paper, you know, on a specific topic we get for do with democracy and our aspiration and alternatives as far as uh, moving this nation forward. He also meet with uh, members of the Foreign Select Committee at the British Parliament. So all of their engagements and they've been very fruitful. Back here at home also, we don't move severally for meet with communities. A lot of groups then they at work, 
you know, we not get for put everything, but a lot of engagements then they go on. We say with the share with vision. And also we say we they meet people directly, Israel unions directly for make them understand the option we then get, the better option we then go get in APC, moving this country forward, changing the situation we will find we self in right now as a nation, and also making sure that um, every Israel unions harness the greatest potentials. Uh, you know, under the All People's Congress, the opportunities get for be created for every Israeli union under the APC. And this is not the message. Where will they take to we people? Message of unity, message of hope, message of um, re redemption, and also message where they put we country back on the growth and development trajectory. So in line with the message where you talk about Tunis in the engagement way the APC presidential candidate don't they do. Their message and are you the Siam on a waiting in don't they say because the message of unity and peace where you talk about say on a a total opposite of what we don't they see utterances of Dr. Samura Kamara. Well, I don't know if you they follow Dr. Samura Kamara and waiting at the opposite way Obviously, they talk about, yeah, they or waiting at the opposite way they talk about, but Dr. Samura Kamara in every opportunity where you don't get for address public gathering, a been a very consistent as to within our in short term goal and in, in number one world way they talk always now how for unite this country back and build national cohesion amongst Israel unions and bring we all together under an umbrella of sustainable development for Sri Leone. And repeatedly they talk say one tribe, one region, one district not going to develop Sri Leone. We all get for come together in sincerity as Sri Leoneans for push this nation forward. So he's very, very much committed to peace, he's committed to unity, and he's committed to national cohesion. And at that, they inspire some of we for work closely. But view, you, view day for Sedentia, we really talk about, in line for, say, Dr. Kam Samoa Kamari, talk about peace and unity. I mean, in the engagement we do that international travel, the message is totally different. So let me the ask you, is this now you they get this message, or this only the exact message of Dr. Samoa We Kamara? We all watch doctor in engagements them they were broadcast live from usa to uk and waiting me to talk now directly quoting in statements watching him speak following him speak be with him speaking so i know exactly what he don't they say and waiting he will continue for say in all of the interviews i go show you numerous interviews and engagements on bbc voa to a point as even telling the people of this country what he make can distinct from all other candidates yes he was born in the north. He grew up in the south. He's married to a Mende wife in Peking. They get Mende blood. They get Timney blood. And in France, they cut across the country. You know, all of the schools we don't attend in the south, in the western area, for big college. So all of them things that they preach, same unity. So me, no, no. Which statements it don't make with divisive, but I am consistent and he's been consistent. This is not to just wait me to say. I they quote directly from him. Um, I will play interviews, all of the programs the way they way they talk about way, the meetings where he get na UK, USA, they were all broadcast live. And in statements, then everybody see and everybody hear. Oh, and I they see. have been statements of unity and national cohesion. All right, Mr. Tunis, let's we'll come back to the issue of preparedness ahead of the June 24th election from the All People's Congress APC party. In as much as you don't tell listeners them waiting and waiting, I don't do structures that we see when I don't put in place. But quite recently, in a press conference, we say the party called now the party office. Um, quite some issues them be with the Secretary General be raised say na a concern for on a party ahead of the June twenty fourth general elections. 
One, the party being questioned, the um, voter ID card where the ECS has been produced. Then secondly, when the request for the voter register from the ECSL. In the area of the ID card, one major question would only come out from people who don't they follow the recent um, events there from a party and that. Why now? ECSL law issue the ID card there. They don't come out to take responsibility. See, they are aware see the ID card them substandard, but that not going to be issue for voter them the day for the elections. So why not now on a party they raise questions about ID card? We will just get 36 days to the elections. Thank you very much, Khadija. In the first place, make a make a very clear to Sierra Leoneans then say APC committed to peaceful, free, fair, credible, and transparent elections. And that always don't be with position. And that make we very, very much particular about them things they are so. Where we the raise with ECSL. Not to now we begin question or we begin raise them concerns they are. Now, now we come to the public. And we come to the public for a very good reason. We don't deal with ECSL. We not the major, one of the major political party, if not the largest political party in this country. Right? And we also see we serve as partners when it comes to electoral process in a salon. We represent the people of this country, huge number, whether by we uh, composition of parliament, whether by we representation of councils, and even by we making as a political party. So we're very much aware that we membership and we support base, they run into millions of people in this country. And so we owe them to them for ensure, say, one, we seek their interest, we ensure, say, then get the free will as provided for by the law for able to participate in the democratic process. That is one. Two, we owe them also to this country for raise a flag and for address issues we get potential for bring chaos and problem in us alone. We engagement with ECSL don't start long time. From the areas of the census, to the area of voter registration, to area of verification, to area of um, even, uh, um, you know, uh, um, re-verification during registration, we then do the exhibition. All of the concerns that we come out from registration to exhibition to uh, making available voters register and the issue of the voter ID. We don't write several letters to ECSL, several letters to a point even we flag bearer with presidential candidate in SESF put out a position paper. All of them documents then they we don't send to ECSL repeatedly, numerously. So but how, all how? the letters we don't write. I go tell you, say, not a single time we don't get even an acknowledgement from ECSL. Mr. Tunis, apart from so, the them, una as a political party and ECSL, on a get on a level of meeting, when are the PPLC meeting, also a political party, then kids uh, get them concerned. Them. That is why. If the letter they not be addressed, according to what you say, una don't try for raising concern in a PPLC meetings. That is what I'm saying. I just they tell you the steps that we don't go through before we come now to us, how we don't reach so, we don't decide for go to the people. We don't address these issues, not only in letters, not only at meetings, PPLC meeting, or any other we will be able to address with ECSL, seeking consensus, seeking we will be able to sit down and address the concerns they are so in a way where in the future not going to lead to mistrust and chaos in us alone. We don't go through all the steps. But if I write you, you know, acknowledge. You know, reply. I do a one term, I do a two term, I do a three term. I go PPLC meeting, I raise the concerns. You know, we represent people. And we people out there are eager. They want for ensure see they're able to participate. Already, they don't face several challenges during the registration. We all see waiting the first time voters then go through. Severally, then go through several challenges, you know, with you know, the, the exhibition. And now we are talking about voter registration. 
We are, le- we are 36 days to elections. For God's sake, why political parties not forget access to voter register? It they help with, with, with planning, it they help with, with, with deployment, it they help with for even get knowledge as to where and where centers then they. We're not able to get any information in there, and we're not able to get clarity back to from the the, issues, the, the, the ECS as to why. The, back to the issues of the ID card, Mr. Tunis. Yesterday, in a joint press statement, we be made by eight political parties, we they all get for contest at the same elections where the APC party they contest. They make acknowledgement of the ID card, MC, yes. They're not they up to standard, but according to them, they encourage them people them for use their ID card there, so for ensure say they go through the elections process. So why the APC they raise all their issues there where eight of the other political parties are wanna all get for contest, then say they're okay with the ID card. Then. I know they talk for eight other political parties. Being a national publicity secretary for the All People's Congress. We membership that this country large. We now one of the two political party we put candidates all side. Every district, every constituency, every ward. So we interest as far as it relates to the concerns of the people of this country. Not gonna be the same as a political party we probably deploy only one or two councillors. But they contest. They contest, and but it will never be the same. So I not go speak for them. Then go speak for themselves, then get a reason. But I am here as National Publicity Secretary of the main opposition party. We get membership and support base of over 2 million people. So it behoves us. For ensure, say, we let the people of this country, not only we support us, not only we membership, but the people of this country and even the international community, where they put so much emphasis on peace, national cohesion, free, fair, credible, violent, free elections, for no then concerns they are so, and for make them also know the steps where we don't take as a political party, for ensure say we bring them to the attention of the ECSL, for see how we all collectively go sit down and amicably resolve the issues they are so before the elections. Okay. So that at the end of the day, the results will be accepted by all of us and the people out there, they will go be reflected, problem no good day, doubts no good day, chaos no good day. Okay. And I shall say, this is not a difficult thing we they ask for okay. as a political party. If we not really don't prepare and get proper structure in place, you think so not always go to complain where most of the reason where you state about the voter ID card, ECSL will make another option for say, even if somebody not getting voter ID card, it will still able to exercise the right and vote. I don't think, you know, you know if we don't be get structures in place, we're not going to be able to detect all of them things they are. So well, this, is not, this, for anything. this is not about complaining. This is about, no, this is not about, this is not about complaining. This is about prevention Wait, of potential prevent. crisis. Now they, now they do so now. Yeah. And we are a responsible party. That is why we are doing this. You watch a voter ID. Several people not able to identify themselves. During nomination, you know the problems that we will go through. People they present, those will go for nominate. Some man they present, then card for nominate. Then data they show other side. Say now other side they register. We clearly on the card, a show say now they, they register, you know, then get for go back into the back room, try for configure them. So if at this point, at national naya would they face them kind of difficulties then they and hold on and we get time for go we get the liberty for going at the back end go into the computer and amend them what will happen on elections day we will not get that liberty of time when i just one day so these are the issues where we don't see we don't just sit on the complaint these okay. are legitimate concerns 
what would it bring to the attention of the ECSL? So why APC then we... concerned in to counter a view of a presidential candidate? Because on April this year, we officially go collect a voter ID card. It make and clear, say, this one better pass the previous one. At least all information and everything, they intact. But now we don't see the party, they make an objection on this issue, on the different view of a presidential you know, it, candidate. It, you Dr. know, it's always Kamara. funny how people they misconstrue statements made by genuine and trustworthy leaders. Dr. Samura Kamara made that statement clearly pointing out in personal information on the card. He was very, very clear that at least my information can accurate this time. They not go put me on that brook fees when I come out of register. He was very, very clear. And he been pinpointed on impersonal information. So for let people let them misconstrue that, you know, it's sad. In this country, we, we tend for politicize real issues. No country, not in the world. The whole essence of identity, now I made them call an identity card. Now so, for let them able, are they calm? The whole essence of identity, they call an identity card for make them able to identify you. But if you present card, you face black. You know, come on, no country not in the world we go accept them kind card then they are. But it's a lot of no take the responsibility. Say yes. No, there no. is an error, but they make another option. So does that mean we're not for race concern? So why at this time all of us say that we get thirty five more time, days? I don't thirty five more days. I don't is it that they go back I and don't address tell you, all on that? I don't tell then? you repeatedly, say not to today. We begin raise concern. Now, let me come to one significant issue where people don't see they happen recently now on a party. Now, the issue of senior member them, they defect from the All People's Congress Party, they join the ruling SLPP party. And self to the extent people away for the potential council or member of parliament them where the party don't put their name at the list where they send na the electoral commission for salon then they write a letter and say they don't want for the na the list again from the all people's congress and all of them defection here from senior party members them the likes of the former vice president victor four alpha khan and others how the apc plan for go into these elections if at the eve of the elections when they get defection of our members then where they go then you member back now other party well uh thank you very much i go answer that question in many ways in the first place i mean in political dispensation you always get people where you get different minds different agenda and you know different ways we then go do things how people they defect they left the APC and I saw people they come. And we are very much appreciative of people where they come because it shows within opposition, they know they come because they feel see they go kind of enjoy green and pasture. So then they come with genuine, you know, intentions. And we don't see that they happen, especially in the southeast. Just recently we give one lady symbol and pujon. Just that day, day, over 200 women declared. But you know what? Then declaration now, those people have been intimidated as I speak. These female candidates not get mine going in village, now find Pujon district, because people have been beating acid, poor per them. As I speak, over 12 of them, they now sell them both. We are four of them are women. And one part of the women and a lactating mother, breastfeeding mother. You know, then they did eight days. Now, only yesterday, they get their first bath. Would they subject women them to them kind, you know, maltreatment? And now we, they say, women are for participate by politics. And some of us have been raising this concern. We say they participate, and when they come up, we're not able to protect them. We subject them to intimidation. We subject them to harassment. As I speak, Masa Bakanya Rogers, not get mine, go back and begin campaign because she's been harassed, she's been chased, her supporters have been chased. So we have people coming in, Alto Piers from NGC, where you can declare an APC, bring 410 people. A good number of them were executive members of the NGC. You know, so we have quality people coming in. Now, 
for Victor Fo Alpha Khan, this is what I'll say. Victor Fo specifically, for me as a Southeasterner, and for SLPP, we always they say APC not like Southeasterners. I sit back and say that one that they show clearly the opportunities and how embracing APC don't be to everybody across this district. Here is a Southeasterner. We rise to all kind position at the APC, to a point of vice president. And a good number of others, then we don't defect with them. They rose to ministers. I go like for CSPP make Moijue Kai Kai minister. SLPP make Sengu Kroma minister. SLPP make Daniel Gaima minister. SLPP make Victor Fo vice president. I go like for see that. Let them really show Mende people and say they care about Mendes, like how the APC don't do. So for me, I see it that way. And it also shows that APC is very serious when it comes to transparency and the fight against corruption, misconduct. Some of them people, then they, we see how they end. You understand, when you have a situation, we side the party give you position of trust. Now, this country, for serve the people of this country, you aspire for even be, be presidential candidate for the party. And then when you defect, you can't and sit down before the people of this country say, you know, ever woke with the APC, all you did not be for thief, thief, and eat, eat money. So APC was never wrong then for make them not make you the presidential candidate. APC was never wrong then if they take any action against you because of corruption. You don't say now to the people of this country that the APC was right. So for me, I am relieved as a Southeasterner for people where they go and give APC bad name, say they don't give Southeasterners the opportunity. So it means that for a, your misconduct maybe, and because you don't go with the aspiration of the party, now it makes until you not get to which you want to forget. That is one. For Alpha Khan, I always don't say, and the APC don't always don't say, that the worst of APC is far better than the best of SLPP. So why you say Another that? Another exactly SLPP don't exhibit with the likes of Alpha Khan. Here we are. Alpha Khan was with the APC throughout the Aneskroma rule. And in every whole less position, it served now this seat where I hold so today, National Publicity Secretary of the Party. He became Minister of Information. He became Minister of Mines. He was special advisor to the president. He was spokesman for the president. You know, and so every, every decision with our government make under President Anes by Kuruma, Every decision with the party make, he was part of it. And the SLPP, when they come in 2018, APC not good for Salon, APC this, APC that, APC don't see fall with country. And here they are, spending millions for celebrate Alpha Khan defecting. So here they the are. They don't only spend millions. They don't put aside all of them PhD holders, all of them, and this worst of APC with them propagate, he is the one now championing their PR. He is the one in front of their campaign talking. So it tells the people of Sierra Leone that all this noise with SLPP they make about APC not good, it, not, not fast and hypocrisy. What so see the you know, in line candidates them with the with the whole candidates in our one already send their name for BMP them in a different constituency. I'm not aware of that. Kono? I'm not aware of that. Kono, we filled in candidature all side. We later pull letters in and withdraw. Kono, we filled in candidature all side. If anything happened, na Kono, in that light, I will tell you, say, it is not something that would negatively affect the APC. We filled in candidates everywhere, and with the filling, every, they all nominate. You understand, Khadija? So, this are the giddy confidence to we people across this country. That is why we APC, all of the things we they don't say, we are prepared, we are ready. And that is why we they emphasize on level playing field. 
That is why we they emphasize on making sure that the institutions were responsible for ensure say we get free, fair, credible elections, then do them part. And the way where the law say they for do, and the way where we all go see clear credibility, get trust in the process, so that at the end of the day, the will of the people will be reflected. Yes. We know we are in a good position for winning this election, and we know say we will win this election. So, CD, in line with the issue of credibility and fair process, now one we don't so much emphasize on relating to ECSL the work. So far, is it that APC don't identify any area of non-credibility and open process? I mean, from the stage where ECSL don't start to now, in terms of the different um, stages um, we all political parties them for go through? We are partners in this business. So let me not identify any area on a thing. We don't say. identify don't do many challenges. We don't identify many challenges. Those one then, we so. don't communicate to the ECSL. We don't identify the challenges we will get from the registration process with the first time voters. Okay, so if you go, for example, for register, somebody tell you we clearly they be done list all of the different you know, documentation that we can go as a first-time voter because we will be done register, we know, not verification. They say birth certificate, uh, affidavit, sworn affidavit from a counselor or this person, your chief or an elder in the community. If you go to a point where somebody now goes, you don't say, oh, this birth certificate not correct because it's yellow. This other one not correct because it's green. This is not correct because it blew. So, right there, problem don't start first. So, those then kind of issues and they come up a lot. But, you know, we manage. We go, you know, discussions and all. We go through. And then we don't count out, okay, you go go for go nominate. Okay, your data not come up correctly. This not happen correctly. The system will go to make... So... There are issues they are all we don't the raise. So we now they sit down and say, okay, so what if, what if election day? I go for go vote. Somebody neck officer hold me card. Oh no, this you face not show final, you're not clear, this that. You know, how we go do the only way if we for don't get the voters register now. We don't they see clearly say, okay, for center number one, four, five, this, that, that, that. Now, this amount of people registered in at this district and this constituency, we know we go do with deployment. We go down begin for do with verification process. So on the elections day, we able follow the process go smooth. So all of them risk then they when we identify them, then concerns then they that make we erase them. But is you know? pre, I mean prepare a complaint mechanism. Also all political party representative then they are on the ensure say I mean all meetings and other engagements where they call on a representative show up for make sure so on a channel only concerning our way the APC party. PPLC gets. Political parties liaison commission. Me we I mean, one of the people that we they attend on behalf of the APC. We raise these issues. PPLC always get agenda items who they discuss. So it is not in every meeting you get for raise issue on them kind thing they are. Of course, we don't raise them. They plenty. That is not to say we don't have it. We ha we have. I don't tell you say for let we come at this stage. We don't pass through plenty. That I make we don't reach us our day so. You know, because for us representing the people, when we go, when they come to that point where we serve the can out to the people for make we get them involved, where we serve the can out to other stake, important stakeholders for get them involved. Because sometimes we own voice no matter to, to ECSL. But if other stakeholders or if the people then self cancel, then they go here read them. All right, Mr. Yeah. Tunis, let me bring you back to the issue of preparedness. We make another today for on a party, the APC, now the immediate past government will come out in 2018. And during that election day, a lot of issues be there at play. A lot of allegations of on a government for mismanagement, corruption, a lot of things them way the ruling government now be the campaign against Unase, Unanobi, they do right. And now, 
these 2023 elections. Now, one way, Boko citizens say it gets for be about issues. Waiting the party then they present to them in a form of manifesto for the APC up to now, but 36 days to the elections. On our candidates, no able come it and face salon people and say, These are my thematic areas. If you vote for me, now you are the focus for the APC in terms of issues. Waiting there for be on a main priority. Okay, so first of all, we manifesto the command very soon. In fact, as I speak, we as a party, they do we preparation now for the launch of we manifesto. You don't say political campaign and process. Manifesto launching is a big campaign event. So we always get for ensure say we, did, we stay within the provisions of the elections calendar. We not beat ground. When NEC, you know, ECSL declare the campaign calendar, these are all things with the form part of the campaign. You go here, the, the, you will see the presidential candidate could now make frequent media appearances. 98.1 will not ever be prepared for host time. Frequent media appearances where they hammer home. But, that, but just for, for Giyu, I always, if you listen the interviews from a presidential candidate, you will not say he organized himself and in manifesto in stages. Again, priorities, when are short-term priorities, when are things that we will need for pay attention to immediately. One, for example, I don't emphasize the fact that we need for unite and bring this country together because we cannot make any move if we all not work together as a nation in cohesion and unity. Two, we get for quickly pay attention to the economy, especially the rise in prices of basic commodities. It's just unacceptable the rate at which would they see prices of commodities like rice, you know, sugar, salt, pepper, things that we get for do with the day-to-day -day, uh, living of the people of this country. It's okay. just unacceptable for make them they go up in an astronomical way and we not see the government seem for they do anything about it. So we they pay focus on that. We get for pay attention to the foreign exchange. Okay. The Leon as against the dollar, how we go quickly stabilize, you know, the, the foreign exchange so that we go stop for see the dollar they go up. Now it's three hundred three two million three hundred and fifty. Okay. You know, CD. from two, three days ago it was two million three hundred. So we see every two, three days uh, they add. So these are the, the immediate areas we don't now they see. When we come in two oh seven, for example, we were at the darkest city. We say we'll go restore electricity in one hundred days, and we did. Now we don't see electricity self, we don't really get issue with them. So them basic things then they where they improve on the lives of the people. Now we immediate for continue. CD, we they talk about on a um, manifesto way, so on a go launch soon, and also the um, engagement way Dr. Samuel Kamado they do in terms of the message and where it on the key. And you say it don't they talk about unity, they talk about I go quickly address the challenges on the economy. But we look on the area of unity and oneness. Another view go they say the utterances of Dr. Samuel Kamara is totally <coughs> different from what you they say. For example, it talk about say. Um, any engagement recently for say Kono not important. You think say that is speak in line with better national cohesion? Kono, Dr. Samra, no ever say Kono no important. But the video they will attest I go challenge. Clearly. I go challenge anybody. Let's show the video. Look the video. They wait you. What Dr. Sam, what Dr. Samra said now that no district no important past the other. But every every district equally important ram and as president in work now for care for every district every corner of this country that has been his emphasis and not say konono important it is unfortunate like i say earlier that people always always they try for tweak and misconstrue leaders the, the statement he was very specific in saying that no one district no important past the other. So as president, it will reach out to every district as a candidate, it will reach out to every district, every corner of this country, and it will look forward for work with 
every citizen, no matter which district you come on, which part of this country you come on, Dr. Samura Kamara is for you and you are for so Dr. Samura Kamara. So what you will say about the other utterances or message with like, Dr. Samura Kamara gave on the engagement where it do um, inside international trip them for say if they vote for this administration, I mean them as in we will continue for destroy um this country. Which Those were utterances where it talk. Look the which video. International day. Engagement. So it engagement show, where it show, do. show this video. Okay, because look the video me, them. Me na the so national, you don't see them video then the anyway. publicity. You I don't see, see them? no international engagement with Dr. Samura Kamara say if they not vote for him, so you all why they play country. this one and you watch and listen now. When I get for understand when people make and no political party in a right mind, if troubles around credibility, not the trust issues, then the process go through in a way we will not see no fear, go just go accept that kind way. Of so right. let's not misconstrue people and statement. He is very straight. Very clear all the time and very simple time they put in messages across. Doc yeah. is a very calm and calculated person. We like this country. We don't serve this country in all capacities we can imagine for over 40 years. They don't contribute to building this country in many ways across the board. So he's not that kind of person we go come for can say, oh, if you don't vote for me, I go render. It don't be in opposition for five years, all regardless right, so of all of the suspicions will be surround the result. And he's been here, still working with the people in peace and quiet. Right, so but always they don't push in party for five good years. In all kinds of way, he has kept his people peaceful. And we'll continue in that light. All right, quick one before we end this interview. On a presidential candidate in all in international interviews where grants that the BBC, the VUA, once you've been consistent now that him strongly believes say in the poll president's view on the first ballot. This election's not going to forget no one off. Waiting at this thing where Dr. Samura gets for present to salon people, we go make them see the APC as an alternative to the ruling government now. Kadija, in 2018, now false promises now we get under this administration. Rest 200,000, then say there. So which means if they be can they be supposed for put them below 200,000. Today, rice is 700,000. 500,000 more than outside the meat and where they say there. Right? Petrol, the meat and 4,500. They can't say a dear. So they'll be supposed for put them below that. Today, petrol is 21,500. We don't affect every other aspect of the people and life in this country. Then come in the free health care. We don't do quite some good job for rebuild the health care system. Yeah. They say, oh, this is not a work. And where we can we go do and better today most of the hospitals they don't even get bp machines let alone you talk about you know continuous supply of electricity we see field in our hospitals and where the doctors then talk then kick them out so we okay. then don't tell when i say then come with the new direction and we don't clearly see say the new direction or work for we and that is why we are saying to the people we don't come with the right direction we don't they tell on exactly what they would do differently. They messed the country up before we come in 2007. We fixed it. They don't mess them for on again. We go fix them back. Sorry. And everybody go be happy again. And that is why we are saying we are the right direction. You vote Samora Kamara, you save Mama Salon. Okay. That 